Morning. The last day of the Westy Way. I've already got and forgot my uh, Insta360 camera like. So I'm gonna have to uh, go old school, film it on my very expensive iPhone, which is actually probably three times as more expensive than my Insta360. <laughs> so yeah, can look leaving to the end. Fort William, man. Sort of uh, excited to finish, but also oh, I could do another day. A cheeky day, maybe he's just potter up the Great Glen where uh, the wife would kill us. That's her trail, not mine. Right, got about three miles. It's quite steep ascent, I think. Then it's undulating and about a three mile descent and about two miles flat into Fort William. 15 miles in total. All right, let's crack on. So I didn't have high hopes for today really, don't know why. Just often the last day of a trail, it's just about getting back into a town or a village. So they can be a bit average, but man, look at this. <laughs> it's got Chamonix vibes, I think. It's definitely got something European about it. That's not a rare Brexit thing. Well done, Scotland. Fair play. You're beautiful. Red hot as well. It's gorgeous. A few midge about, but not lords. Well, I, I haven't stopped for a while, so there might be lords. But I'm in Midgeland. I've come to their crib. They're like... I'm getting away their lives either. So respect the midge if you want. Just doing their thing. not far from the end now. That's the campsite where I'm staying tonight, right in that valley. Then you bend round the trees and you're into Fort William. Oof. Today's been amazing. It's actually my favourite day. Lush. It's like uh, what I imagine, sort of like I've said before, Chamonix and sort of had like a French vibe about it. Don't know why I don't know why I think it's French, but it's class. Sun was out, trail was amazing, definitely the best day. 
So yeah, just wander on down into the town and I'm done. So day one, easy, flat, like just easy going, like very County Durham. So I'm lucky to live in County Durham because there's lots of nice walks, but it means when I do these like hikes, I want it to be better than where I live. So yeah, that was a bit average. Day two, took the low route because it was raining and I've already done Connick Hill. So I didn't want to risk it. So the first half of day two was average. But once you hit Balmaha, you get amongst Loch Lomond. It's lush. Nice uh, walk in the forest after that as well. Day three, tough. Physically, mentally, technically. Just take your time, get through it. The way I did it was um, a 21 mile section. You could drop that down to a 14 and like add that seven miles on uh, day four and five. I wish I'd done that to be honest. Because uh, I did the slowest part of the West Highland Way in the longest day. So I just made everything longer and it needed to be really. I was out all day. Tough day. Day four, easy day. So I acted as a recovery day. So depends which way you want to do it. I would probably like to spread that out. But you could do a hard day than the easy day like I did. And then um, day five, sort of. That's when you get in the Glencore region. Yeah, really nice. Like it's Glencore. Everyone knows about Glencore, don't they? Day six, yeah, class. Like just really nice sort of views, everything you want from a walk. Then day seven today, amazing. Loved it. So yeah, thoroughly enjoy. So I enjoyed this walk. I'd recommend the West Highland Way to anyone. Unless you live around here, then you probably think it's boring. Just like I do, walks around County Durham. <laughs> right, I'm heading into Fort William. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.